If you're looking for a nice cute video where I show you how to lay out all your craft cheeses in a pan, arranged by color, then this isn't the video for you. But if you want to learn how to make queso that'll make your grandma start singing Tejano music, then you're in the right place. Hello and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Coleman. And unless the real Coleman is... Alright, you caught me. I'm Coleman. My mission is to help grilling and barbecue enthusiasts become the backyard grill master they've always wanted to be. And today we're going to be putting together one of my dishes that I'm world famous for. Yes, my uncle lives in Europe and he loves my queso. So that counts, right? Let's get to grilling. Let's be honest, the cheese is a star of the show here. But it's the other ingredients that we add into the queso that wins best supporting actor. So we're going to start there. Queso needs to have a bite, otherwise it's just cheese whiz in a bowl. For the bite in mind, I love to use New Mexico Hatch Green Chili. I buy this stuff 100 pounds at a time every September when it comes in the season and then I fire roast it all at one time on my gas grill. It stores great in the freezer and I just pull it out when I need to use it. You can also pick it up already roasted and in the can at any Walmart. Now if you can't find it, I'll put a link below to where you can find this stuff on Amazon. If you prefer not to use Hatch Green Chili, I'm going to show you real quick how to fire roast some various chilies I picked up at the local grocery store that will definitely work in your queso. The two that I'm going to be roasting today are jalapenos and Anaheims. Now both of these will work in your queso, but believe me, they're not near as good as the Hatch Green Chili. Now let's go get our grill ready to roast these up. We're going to be roasting these peppers today at 400 degrees over direct heat to really help bring out that amazing roasted flavor. Start off by filling the grill with charcoal. And please don't use lighter fluid in your grill. Pick you up one of these torches on Amazon to light it. I'll put a link below to the one that I use. Once you get it lit and going, add a few chunks of mesquite wood for flavor. We're going to leave out the deflector plates for now and just put our grill grates back in. To get our grill heated up to 400, Open the top vent all the way along with the bottom vent. We need to let this smoke for about 10 or 15 minutes before we put the chili on the roast. While we wait, let's go ahead and prep our chili. Start off by rinsing off the chili in some cool water. Then dry them off with a paper towel. We're going to leave these chilies whole for roasting. There's really no need to remove the stem and the seeds for now. And our smoke has turned from a light blue color to a gray, and our grill is stabilized at 400 degrees, so it's time to get these chilies on the grill. Put the chili directly on the grill grates. There's really no need to spray the grates with anything. Once they're all on, close the lid and let the grill do its magic. Once the chilies start to blister and char on one side, flip them over. And once they're blistered and charred on all sides, take them off the grill. We need to get our grill back down to 300 degrees for the next step, so close the top vent to one quarter open and close the bottom vent to about an inch. We also want to replace the deflector plates as we're going to be smoking this queso over indirect heat. We now need to sweat these chilies. It's really going to help them peel a lot easier later. Now for this, you can use any plastic bag you have laying around, like a shopping bag or a trash bag. But a word of warning, don't use the scented trash bags. You really don't want your chili smelling like lavender. For this small batch, I'm going to use a gallon size Ziploc bag. You're going to want to just open it up and then put all the chilies inside, making sure you leave enough air space for them. and then zip it up tight. We're gonna let these sit here for about 20 minutes, so let's start working on the rest of our ingredients. You have to have some sort of meat in your queso. Unless you're a vegetarian, then I guess you can leave it out, but really, what's the point? But here's an interesting fact. The word vegetarian is an old Native American word. It means bad hunter. I've seen all sorts of meats used in queso, and my favorite is really ground sausage. This stuff adds an amazing flavor to queso that hamburger never can. I've got a skillet here heating up on medium high, so let's go ahead and get this sausage cooked. Add two pounds of sausage to your hot skillet. While it's cooking, stir in one tablespoon of dried sage. You can also buy the sage sausage. If you did, just skip this step. Add in one tablespoon of my GNC chipotle powder and three tablespoons of diced garlic. 
you want to make sure your sausage is completely cooked. Once it is, stir in two large 28 ounce cans of petite diced tomatoes. I've seen a lot of people use Rotel in their queso, but all that has in it is diced tomatoes and a few peppers. I choose not to pay the extra price and I just use my own peppers. Once everything is mixed in, reduce the heat on your skillet down to a simmer for about 10 minutes. This is really going to help those flavors blend together and it's a very important step so don't skip it. While it simmers, let's go ahead and get our chili peeled. This chili's been sweating now for about 20 minutes so it's ready to be peeled. But before we do, if you're enjoying this video and you're getting some value out of it, hit that subscribe button in the lower corner of this video. It looks just like my logo. It really helps more people find my videos. I get a lot of questions about where to find my recipes for my cooks. So if you're watching this on your phone, look under the lower right hand corner of this video. You're going to see an arrow down. Click on that and you'll find the recipes for this cook. If you're watching on your desktop, click on the show more button and it's under my channel name and my logo. This chili is still hot, so you might want to wear gloves for this. Now, I like to wear cotton gloves underneath my nitrile gloves. It really helps protect my hands from the heat. Now, I'll put a link below to both the gloves that I use. But the first thing we're going to do is get this chili out of the bag. You can see the chili continue to cook inside the bag. The skin will come right off now. Start off by pulling off the stem, and some of the seeds will come out with it. Then take the back of a knife and just scrape off the skin. Next, open up the chili and do the same on the inside to remove the seeds. Once you get them all peeled, dice them up into small pieces. Then add them to the skillet and mix them in. Let this simmer with the rest of the mix for another five minutes, then remove it from the heat. Now for the star of the show, the cheese. We're going to be using five different cheeses today in our queso, but you can really use any cheese you want as long as you use a block of this, Velveeta. And don't skimp and use the generic stuff. In my experience, that stuff never melts right. Velveeta really helps the entire mixture stay creamy. And say what you want, this stuff makes great queso. Cut up the entire block into one inch cubes and add the cubes into a Dutch oven. I'm using a 12 inch cast iron Dutch oven today to make this queso, but you can also use a foil tray. I like to use the cast iron because it tends to keep the queso warmer longer. The next cheese I'm using is eight ounces of grated Colby Jack, then eight ounces of grated mozzarella, and finally eight ounces of grated smoked Gouda. Velveeta, Colby Jack, mozzarella, Smoked Gouda. Wait, that's only four. I bet you guys thought I forgot one, didn't you? Well, the last one is a surprise for a little later. I'm a little sneaky like that. I'm like a fat ninja. Our grill is cooled down to 300 now, so let's go ahead and get this cheese on the grill to soak up some of that mesquite love. I'm going to let this cheese melt and soak up some of that smoke for about 30 minutes before I add the rest of the ingredients. After 30 minutes, it's time to add the rest of the ingredients. The first thing to go in is one small can of cream of mushroom soup. Then the sausage mix that we made up. Add everything to the top of the cheese and mix it in well. We'll need to continue to mix it every five to 10 minutes until all the cheese melts and everything is blended together. We've been smoking our queso now for about an hour and it only needs about 10 or 15 more minutes. So it's time for the final cheese that I promised you, and that's queso fresco. But for this one, we're not gonna stir it in. We're just gonna crumble it up on top. I like to use about a half a cup of queso fresco and just crumble it up on top. It adds a great final flavor, plus it looks cool when it melts. I'm gonna let this melt for about 10 or 15 minutes before I pull the queso off the heat. While we wait, let's review what we did. We started off by fire roasting our chili. When they were done, we pulled them off to sweat and cooled our grill down to 300. It was then time to put together our sausage mix with all of our ingredients and spices and added in our pilled green chili to finish it off. 
Next, we cut up and added all of our cheeses to our Dutch oven. Then it went on the grill to melt and soak up some of that smoke. After 20 minutes, we added our sausage mix to the queso and mixed it all in as the cheese melted. And lastly, we added our queso fresco to the top for a final smoke. This queso is hot off the grill and it's time to dig into it. I served up some of my queso in a crock with a side of chips and I added a few peppers to add a little more kick. Man, that queso fresco really added a nice color to the top of it. Time to dig into this stuff. Let's take a little bit right on top. I'm gonna add an additional jalapeno to that bite. Mmm. Mmm. Man. You know, that green jelly just adds a really nice bite to your queso. And that cheese, sitting on the smoke like that, added a great smoky flavor. And when you add that sausage mix that I did, it really adds a nice heartiness to the queso and really turns it into a meal. Let's go in for seconds. Put another jalapeno right on top. Mm. Man, that is some good queso right there. I outdid myself this time. Man, you wanna impress your friends at your next get together? You gotta smoke you up some of this queso. Now that I'm done stuffing my face with queso, I'd love for you all to have one of my grilling and chilling stickers. Just go to my website, the link is down below, and click on the Contact Us tab. Send me your address and I'll ship one out to you free of charge. I'll even pay for the shipping. Don't forget to join the Grilling and Chilling with Coleman community on Facebook and Instagram. I also put those links down below. Hey, and leave me a comment below what you'd like to see in some upcoming videos. Thank you again for joining me in the GNC Kitchen. If you like this video, here's a few more you might like. Also, please consider subscribing right up here and ring that bell down below. It'll let you know when I've got some new videos coming out. I always enjoy spending time with you in the GNC Kitchen and sharing my recipes. Now y'all go grill something.